A video has emerged of a poll worker in Georgia definitively appearing to commit voter fraud. In the video, the woman appears to be feeding the very same ballots into the voting machine over and over again. Now, this worker originally agreed to an interview with a journalist, but has since cancelled that interview and lawyered up. So it would seem that there is a criminal case to be had here. This is big. This is really massive. And this could be the missing link to solve at least one of the many cases of fraud in the US election. We're going to be talking about that today, showing you the evidence that has emerged, and we are going to be discussing it. You're watching Political, and a big welcome to everyone watching. We've been covering this election, the election fraud and the aftermath, and all the big stories from the conservative world. So please do remember to subscribe if that interests you, and drop us a like if you do like this video. Now, Yayan, show us what you have. Yeah, so all of this uh, reporting is, is effectively coming from two places. Uh, we have this article from the national file who have been the kind of um the front runners really in exposing all of this that's going on or at least just bringing it at, to our attention so we can make up our own minds about what we think is happening um so i'll bring you this so video of a footage shows confirmed vote counter ruby freeman whose daughter was identified as the supervisor of a secret vote counting session after observers were sent home bringing the same stack of ballots through a vote tabulation machine multiple times while intermittently looking around to see if anyone was watching in the footage freeman can be seen holding the same stack of ballots close to her body while running them through the vote tabulation machine multiple times she then repeats this process with at least two more ballot stacks furtively glancing behind herself every so often to see if anyone has taken notice of her behavior and the ballots scanned by freeman were taken from the suitcases that were hidden under the tables until legal observers were sent home late at night the gateway pundit was able to identify freeman from a distinctive hairstyle and wardrobe which corresponded with corresponded with the business she owns called la ruby Sub subsequently national fired identified Freeman's supervisor who brought in the aforementioned suitcase ballot scanned multiple times by Freeman as none other than her own daughter. Freeman bragged on Facebook, y'all want to know who my supervisor is over here, it's my daughter, but I just want to say, uh, <laughs> just want to say do and it's her show baby, it's her, it's her show. On Friday, National File uncovered additional footage from the Freemans uh, passing a USB drive for from themselves to an unidentified bearded black male in a gray ship freeman also filled herself showing off the stacks of ballots in another video posted to facebook um, and while national fair was unable to confirm the standard number of ballots per stack placed in a vote tabulation machine a voting machine expert told the scientific american that high-speed scanners can scan 800 ballots per minute and basically the the sort of crappier ones can scan two to 500 ballots per minute we don't know exactly which ones we have she has but either way it's a significant number and i'll just show you this video as well it's kind of grainy but this is the lady in question in the top left and as you can see um if i kind of speed it up a little bit she takes the um, votes you put you feed them in through the bottom and the voting machine throws them out through the top there um, as it counts them and you can see them like coming out really fast and then when it's done that she picks up the same stack of votes kind of like you know organizes them a bit and throws them back in through the bottom of the machine again and the uh apparently she does this like multiple times with multiple different stacks of votes you can go and see all of the footage yourself i'll leave it in the description so just to clarify exactly what's going on here you have this lady who um after all of the republican observers and the press and everything have been told to go they pull out these boxes on wheels full of votes they start scanning them through the machine multiple times or at least one lady is doing it her supervisor is her own daughter um and this is all happening in a state that is of the smallest margin of all of the states across the entire nation I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I, I perhaps paused there for a second because I was just thinking of how staggeringly mind-boggling this could be. I mean, you mentioned the numbers there, okay? Up to 800 ballots per minute on the higher end and 200 ballots per minute, per minute at the lower end. So mm -hmm. in an hour, 
Okay, quick maths. Uh, that's 12,000 votes in an hour, potentially. I don't know if she was there for an hour or not. But either way, this person could do, do the maximum damage possible in an election where, you know, a few thousand votes mm. is a massive deal, okay? This needs to be investigated. And it, it listen, we're not the left, okay? This needs to have due process. Let us refrain <laughs> from passing judgment on this woman until the court cases are done and everything. Um, but it does seem to be cast iron evidence, doesn't it? Mm. There, it doesn't seem... If there was a simple explanation for this, let, then... It, it could be quite very easily dismissed, you know, off very, very, very quickly. But that's not happened. She's got a lawyer. She's preparing for a long legal case, isn't she? And this is what happens. This is this kind of proves what their tactic is because throughout the election, what we seem we're not seeing a huge grand conspiracy to change uh, the votes. What the Democrats have done, uh, they've tacitly built up this uh, atmosphere in America over the last four years um, where, you know, it's on the individual to go and take action. And, and, you know, you look at their arguments they make when they're talking about racism too, you know, you have to do your part individually. Okay. So they tacitly created this atmosphere where they will accept people going out and subverting democracy on the name of getting rid of Donald Trump. They've encouraged it and they supported it for four years, and they also, I believe, should be criminally invest investigated because this is massive. Yeah, it is. I mean, how many red flags do you need in one particular case before you take notice and go, hold on, this doesn't seem right? I mean, one of these things happening, you might be like, oh, well, there's probably an explanation while the votes were being scanned multiple times. Oh, okay, yeah, his supervisor's a daughter, but I'm sure, you know, everything's above board. And look, you have the, you know, you have the observers. You have all of these checks. It's like all of the checks have been systematically removed, you know? Like, oh, send the observers home. Send the press home so that no one can see what they're doing. Oh, the person that's supervising it is her own daughter who's going to turn a blind eye to it. You know, and then she's using sat there scanning these uh, votes that were hidden away under a table. Like, there's no real, like, like you say, one of those, one of those things. You can make a logical explanation for it. But when you just have all of these red flags, it just seems extremely unlikely to me that there is a valid explanation for all of these different things that, on their own, you know, seem credibly suspect. So it's no surprise, as you mentioned, that she's lawyered up. Um, and this is, I just want to give you the quotes that she actually said and her reason and rationale behind this. So um, Caroline Ryan was um, is a journalist who wanted to interview her. She said, I won't be able to be interviewed. Uh, this is bigger than me. I need an attorney, thanks. Much love to you and your team. Um, and uh, Car Caroline Ryan, who wanted to interview, she said, I just wanted to ask her, were in fact those ballots in suitcases? Were you guys counting those ballots after the poll workers went home if so why ruby initially said she was getting a lot of negative comments and she agreed to do an interview with me to tell her side of the story freeman also sent ryan a series of vulgar and threatening text messages allegedly sent from angry individuals about 45 or so minutes after she reversed her decision unfortunately she said that it's probably best for her to not do an interview at this time she said it's probably best if she gets a lawyer so you know Listen, innocent people still get lawyers, you know, <laughs> like I, I, I would probably recommend that everyone gets a lawyer um, if they're ever being accused of any crime. But um, at the same time, it just seems like you could at least give a little bit of basic information to say, oh, here's, here's the scenario. If you want to speak more in depth, um, I, I need an attorney present just to make sure I don't incriminate myself accidentally. But that's not what's happened. It's like she's cut off. No, I'm not even speaking at all. And, and this is the thing as well, though. Um, we cannot give the benefit of the doubt when the integrity of a democratic election is in play, right? I can give you the benefit of the doubt if I walk around the corner and, you know, uh, a packet of crisps that I had sitting on the table is now gone and you're sat there with, like, you know, uh, crumbs around your mouth. Okay, I can give you a benefit of the doubt there, but not in a democratically uh, um, a democratic election, okay? Every safeguard in this election has been completely and systematically dismissed, okay? Um, 
So yeah, I'm sorry, Ruby, but we've got to investigate you. We've got to like take this thing seriously because what you've been doing is you've been working in a polling station um, without any observation, without any um, accountability, without any safeguards. And guess what? You've been caught doing something. It appears you've been caught doing something suspect. If all these things hadn't happened, if you were doing the job during the hours you were meant to be doing it, or if your daughter hadn't dismissed all the press and super, uh, press and the observers, then you, you would have been fairly easily proved innocent. That's not that's not happened. Yeah, and uh, you know we heard from um, I forget his name. I think it's Gabriel Sterling, who's the and I apologize if I've got that wrong, but he's the guy who's kind of like the election. Uh, manager or whatever in um, Georgia. I think the whole of Georgia, not just Fulton, but certainly Fulton. You know, and he, the rationale, the reasoning he gave, I don't know, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So the actual best people to just come in and explain this would be obviously the people themselves, the poll workers themselves. And I'd feel really awfully horrible for for Ruby Freeman in this case, if she's actually just doing everything by the book and it just looks really suspect. Um, but as you say, you know, it's just far too important to ignore. So she needs to come out, obviously, with an attorney. Hopefully, they, if she wants an attorney, then, you know, that's obviously her right. Um, does the interview and gives sort of reasonable explanations for all of this, then great, brilliant. I just hate, you know, questions to be hanging over this now um, for a long period of time, maybe after the results have been certified, if that is indeed the case, or, well, they have been certified, I believe, but when they, um, when the electors meet next week um, and obviously represent the the uh, the vote in Georgia, and, you know, it'll be too late at that point. So I hope we do get some answers to the questions before then. Um, and it's just vitally important that she comes and, you know, has this interview at some point in time and clears her name really because there's just too much riding on it like you said absolutely and we're going to be covering uh everything around this uh, we're going to be covering the electors meeting and everything so thanks so much for watching guys uh please do subscribe if you haven't done so already it really helps us out and it helps us get our content out to people like yourself hopefully a good honest conservative who doesn't like election fraud and such things um please do drop us a like if you enjoyed this video leave us a comment tell us what you thought and please do share it as well if you uh, know someone who would like it in particular thanks so much guys until next time